Want to see something that'll make your eyes pop right out of your head? Watch closely. These remarkable mechanisms, seldom observed at this magnification, are engineered and constructed to help ensure life on Earth. They are biological wonders, commonplace but extraordinary. Devoid of muscle tissue, yet surprisingly dynamic. And their mobility has fascinated researchers from South Carolina to South Korea. This story begins with these small lavender flowers. The plant's scientific name is Erodium cicutarium, but it's commonly known as storksbill. A week after blossoming, the petals wither to reveal these green striped pods. Inside their protective walls, five seeds quickly develop. Each seed is attached to a slender tail called an on, and five ons per pod cluster together to form these narrow pointed extensions that measure one to three inches and resemble, you guessed it, the bill of a stork. Later, the pods die back to display their contents. Five exquisite packages of life, signed, sealed, and ready for delivery. The stork's bill now awaits the most explosive stage in its life cycle. As the seeds mature, the awns dry out and contract. In the process, elastic energy builds within them to the breaking point. The extreme torque generated by the twisting awns catapults the ripened seeds away from the parent plant. Now things really get interesting. Once on the ground, the awn reacts to humidity and quickly changes shape. Its cells are hygroscopic, so even though they're dead, they still respond to variations in the weather. On a dry afternoon, the cells shrink and the awn coils tightly. But when the humidity rises, the moist air triggers an opposite reaction and the awn uncoils. These alternating cycles of contraction and release produce motor action that causes the on shaft, tail, and fine hairs to move the seed on its slow, relentless march. If the seed head locates a small hole or crack, it enters, then twists and burrows like a miniature bulldozer. Okay. Now freeze the action right here. I want to show you why that seed's outer casing is an absolute masterpiece. Just look at its shape, sleek, tapered, and perfect for pushing its way into narrow spaces. And that hook on the tip, it anchors the seed while it's drilling into the soil. Those rows of microscopic hairs are aligned to help drive it forward, even in rough terrain. While large cavities on top of the case collect moisture that may help germinate the seed inside. This is a complete package with every module working together so the seed can literally plant itself. But there's more on display here than just a fascinating biological system. Consider this. Our world is filled with superb technology, highly efficient devices no one would reasonably attribute to chance or any random process. Instead, we universally recognize these machines as the products of purpose, design, and sophisticated engineering. So why can't similar logic be applied to nature? When we objectively study a mechanism like this, with an array of integrated components that result in nothing less than the generation of new life, 
there is only one realistic explanation for its being. The foresight and ingenuity of a mind that exists outside the natural world and created everything within it. <laughs>